The pain level for humans has an intensity of 120 decibels. What is the intensity of such sound in watts per square meter? So it's important to note that the decibel level or intensity level rather in decibels is given by the formula beta is equals to the logarithm of i over i naught. We also have a 10 somewhere here. So let me write it 10 logarithm of i over i naught, where i naught is the threshold of intensity, it's a standard value. So what we're looking for in this case is the intensity. We have been given the intensity level. So since we're looking for i, let's make i the subject of the formula. To start with, we'll divide both sides by this 10 so that we have log i over i naught is equals to the level over 10, like that. Then uh, remember, we can do the substitution here. We'll say log i over i naught. The level is 120. So that is 120 divided by 10. And that will just give us 12. So we have this. Now, this logarithm has a base of 10. So the base of the logarithm, which is 10, this will become 10 to the power of the exponent, which is 12. And all this is equal to the argument, which is i over i naught. Since we're looking for i, we can cross multiply. Hence, i is equal to 10 to the power 12 multiplied by the threshold of intensity, i naught. Now, the threshold of intensity, like we said, is a standard value. So, i is equal to 10 to the power 12. The value for the threshold of intensity is 10 to the power negative 12. So if you multiply these two values, uh, the intensity in this case is just equal to 1 watt per square meter. So that's it. That's how we find uh, the intensity. Second part says compare uh, the level, compare this with the level of a whisper at 20 decibels. So since we're comparing these two, in other words, we're just finding uh, the difference between the two, uh, two levels of intensity. And to do that, we'll say, so this part here, we'll say beta two minus beta one. Like that. So now, if this is the case, uh, let's consider beta two to be the 120, beta 1 can be the 20. So now, if this is the case, we're going to apply the formula again for the level of intensity, which is 10 log I2 over I0. So for beta 2, this is the formula, minus 10 log I1 over I0. So for beta 1, this is the formula. So Beta 2, we said is 120. So we can say this is 120 minus beta 1 is the one that we've been given now, which is 20. Like that. On this other side, um, we can factor out what is common, which is a 10. Let's see what remains. What remains is log i2 over i0. But since these two logs are subtracting, we can simply... Uh, divide the arguments. So we'll do that in the next step. So minus log i1 over i0. Okay. Our next step will be to say, on this side we have 100. So 100 is equals to, here we have a 10. Let's uh, divide the arguments. So that is log i2 over i0 divided by this argument here, which is I1 over I0. We can get rid of this 10. If we divide both sides by 10, this 10 will just go into that 100 10 times. So, I'm just going to make it. Left-hand side, 
I have 10 because this 10 has gone into that 10. This is equals to the logarithm of I2 over I0 multiplied by I0 over I1. So now I've just taken the reciprocal of this. Hence we have that. From there, we can say 10 is equals to, so the I0 and the I0 will just cancel out. So 10 is equals to the logarithm of I2 over I1. Like that. Then from here now, um, we can just change it from logarithmic form to exponential form where we say uh, the power of the argument here is, sorry, the base is 10, so 10 to the power 10, 10 to the power 10, base to the power exponent is equal to the argument, argument is i2 over i1. So if I cross multiply, we'll have i2 is equals to 10 to the power 10 i1. So this is the relationship between the two. So just to make sure that you get it, this i2 is uh, for the one we're given in the question, which is the 120, and i1 is for the 20. So you can also write like this. You can say i, this is the one from the 120, 10 to the power 10, i, this is the one from 20. There we have it. Thank you very much.